Hey and welcome to this new Voodoo tutorial. I will show you today how to replace your LCD screen with a frame on your Huawei P20 Lite. If you need any parts or tools, you can buy them directly from my video description link. And this will also support my channel. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. So at first we have to um, remove the back cover. Uh, I will heat up the back cover a little bit uh, with around 200 degrees, which is around 350-340 uh, Fahrenheit uh, for around two minutes. And then let's see how we can get it open. Uh, use a suction cup and a plastic cart. When you make a small gap, you see, then you insert the small uh, the plastic cart carefully and then you will go around and cut the um, adhesive tape inside. Just be careful when you go towards the fingerprint reader. Uh, there is a flex cable connected to the motherboard, so don't damage it. You will see, just watch. Okay, let's heat it up again a little bit. There we go. Almost done. I will just cut this small adhesive tape here. And then carefully, just carefully around the flex cables. Okay, I'm removing here these two screws and then the metal plate and then I will disconnect the fingerprint reader. First disconnect the battery. Okay, and then the fingerprint reader. There we go. The back plate is removed. Now we are going to remove this uh, small metal plate. Uh, underneath uh, there is the flex cable from the screen and we will disconnect it. This small back, uh, black plastic uh, is for the buttons, don't lose it, you will need it later. Okay, now we disconnect uh, this flat cable for the charging port and we will remove these uh, screws at the bottom to leave the plastic. Try to lift the plastic. Uh, if it's a little bit difficult, maybe you will need to heat up a little bit. It will be easier, so let's heat it up, okay, there we go, and it should be easier now, okay, voila, that's it. Disconnect the flex cable. Now let's disconnect this antenna, be carefully. Okay, let's disconnect it from the, I mean, lift up together with the bottom charging port, charging port motherboard. And then let's unscrew the screws on the top. Then we lift up uh, this metal plate around the camera, bend it so it's even again. Then we will remove the SIM tray. Ok, 
Okay, let's remove the front camera and then the main rear camera. Okay, now let's remove the motherboard carefully. There we got the new screen with the frame. So we'll have to remove all the small pieces including the speaker and stuff uh, from the old frame and insert into the new frame. So I'm hitting up here a little bit and then removing the ear speaker here, the earpiece. Okay, and installing here the earpiece in the new frame, in the new screen. So I'm hitting up here this place a little bit again to remove this uh, small flex cable uh, for the side buttons. And just be carefully because uh, you know if you uh, if you're not careful you can break it. So <laughs> better be. The best is to work with these uh, plastic tools. They're uh, more convenient maybe or use whatever tools you like and uh, with uh, the tools you have experience of course the flex cable is uh, glued uh, on the side uh, frame here on the side wall so uh, you will have to remove it uh, just be careful they don't break um, uh, the buttons uh, uh, near the side wall, otherwise you will have to replace this uh, flex cable. As you see I'm having here some issues so I'm uh, heating up all the stuff here again. And then carefully uh, I need uh, something like a knife or it should be very thin. So as I'm saying just work carefully here. Okay, finally, there we go. Okay, it's removed. You see? It's a small piece, but if you break it, uh, your side buttons won't work. <laughs> okay, I'm installing this side buttons, uh, side button flex cable here already in the new frame. Sorry for the head. And now we are going to remove the battery. Uh, this is a little bit uh, more difficult. So again, work carefully. You will have to heat it up a little bit, uh, not too much because uh, it's dangerous. You know, the battery is uh, a fragile thing. So, okay, I'm using here this small pry tool uh, to lift from the side. Uh, you will have to use a lot of tools and uh, work slowly. You can't leave this in a minute. So uh, use a co couple of time, use uh, some minutes and work carefully and slowly. When you insert this plastic tool and you lift it up a little bit, you will um, see that the glue under the battery will slowly uh, become weaker. So just work carefully and uh, yeah, take your time.
Okay, almost. We have to work around around the battery. It's not that easy. Actually, if anybody has a better idea, um, you can write below in the comment. Okay, let's do um, this battery even again. Um, it's bended a little bit, so I'm using here a hard drive. You can use whatever you want, it just should be even. Uh, so you can, you know what I mean? Make the battery even again in every corner, not bended. Now I'm going with my fingernail and uh, remove these bubbles. Just press it with your fingernail and uh, work around so the battery will stick better inside the frame later. As you see, there was some heatsink before. Um, this was a, the old heatsink, so we will have to remove it here. I will um, remove this rest and then um, clean it, and we will use a new heatsink. I'm cleaning here this stuff with some isopropyl uh, alcohol, or you can just use. 80-90% alcohol for cleaning or whatever you have for cleaning. Okay, I'm uh, installing here some heatsink. Uh, I'm using from K Pro. And uh, you can use whatever heatsink you want. Uh, should be just um, flexible. I mean, um, liquid enough, not too strong. And uh, yeah, it should be ready for this motherboards and stuff. I will place uh, some uh, good heatsink uh, link to buy in my video description. So if you don't have, you can buy from my video description link. If you will, you will ask me if you have to use this heatsink, the answer is uh, better do, because uh, the motherboard, the CPU can overheat over time and then maybe your phone will be useless. Maybe not, depends on your luck. Okay, inserting here all this uh, front camera, rear camera and stuff uh, connected to the motherboard. And we insert this uh, metal plate, uh, which is also like an, an antenna, so don't lose it. Okay, 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 okay. there we go. Okay, now um, we will have to screw this all together. Let's insert the motherboard, the small board for um, the charging and the, the earphone jack. Okay. And then we will. Okay, let's do it all together. And then insert the antenna cable carefully around here. It's very thin, so you can damage it easy. Work slowly, work with your fingernails, that's it. Now you will see me to insert this plastic uh, again, and, but don't insert it. It was a little uh, mistake, because uh, under um, 
uh, this uh, plastic you will have to connect this flex cable which is for the charging port and uh, you will have to remove it again you will see later in a minute or two in the video so just don't do this step now okay let's insert this small plastic for the buttons Okay, let's remove this protective foil and insert the battery inside the frame. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's connect the screen. So the screen is connected. And then we will go to connect the... Don't connect the battery yet. Just we will connect now the flex cable for the charging port. Okay. There we go. As you see, as I told you before, uh, this was a mistake, so you will have to remove this plastic again. And then connect the flex cable uh, to the small motherboard for the charging, and then insert the plastic again. So I'm just, uh, yeah, testing here before before the assemble if the phone is working, if the screen is working, everything is working fine. So I can proceed with the assemble. Okay, let's screw all the screws here together. We will insert these small metal plates here to protect the flex cable from disconnecting. Now I'm cleaning here uh, small pieces from the old adhesive glue. Uh, you will see if it's not even, just cut it so the backplate will uh, stick better to the frame. If some uh, this adhesive tape is missing, we will just use some glue later. Let's disconnect here the fingerprint reader. Okay. And then we will heat up a little bit the old adhesive here. But first let's assemble this small metal plate and screw with two screws. There is still some adhesive tape on uh, the back plate, so I just left it on. I'm just heating it here up a little bit, it will stick better. And now I'm using here a little bit of glue. You can use uh, B7000, B6000 or T8000, whatever you want. Uh, for the glue you will find the uh, where you can buy it in the video description link. Okay, we stick the back plate inside the frame. I'm just pushing it here a little bit with the um, clothes. And I'm using here these plastic clips, uh, so they will hold the back plate for like an hour or two, depends on your time, but at least one hour. After one hour, you can remove the clips and you are done. That's it. Congratulations. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, you can comment below. I will try to answer your question as soon as possible. And if you want to donate, there is also a donate uh, link in my video description. And don't forget to subscribe. Your Crocfix.